here. I think it might be this. Okay. Oh, it's a, it's a, oh, that's cool. It's a ship designed around shields. You'll have missed the previous Guildboard ships. He's been designing ships around the different systems in FTL. So this ship starts with five levels into shields to start. Charge ion and heavy laser. Uh, we have these really skinny, not a lot of rooms to hang out in. We're going to have to go across the breach here. Shield charge booster and a Zoltan shield. The three deified shield system. Honestly, I thought that looked pretty good. <laughs> what's the what's the description of this guy? Honestly, I'm too tired to think of a description. It's a shield ship. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. See what you did there. Okay. This one does look pretty straightforward. We got an NG and two Zoltans. All about that shield. About that shield. Do we have Gibbs? Fall the rebellion. <laughs> it spins around. I like that. That's that's a nice little circle. It's like a kid with a stick pushing a tire down the road. Isn't that what they did back in ye olden days? I'm not sure what those little circles are. I guess that's where the weapons are mounted or something. All right. Um, three weapon slots in total. Not a lot of power. Um, so that's the downside of this ship. We don't have enough power at first. Have some trouble dealing with borders on this ship? You have some serious issues dealing with borders since, if you, since you can't vent. Oh, we don't have doors. You're right. So this is very susceptible to boarding. We're going to have to run to O2 and, or Heal Bay and maybe run them around and stuff. Okay. But we do have Zoltan Shield, so that's good. Oh, I should have tested the crew if they can move from section to section, yeah. I assume they can. Okay, so we have funky door mechanics going on here. Okay, funky door mechanics. We did not jump when they're between areas or that can get bad. You want to be a crew member? Sure thing, uh, Pacheco. One second. All right, I'm gonna restart if I lose a crew. Perfect. I'm gonna I'm gonna cheese it a little bit and uh, do that. Uh, it's the beginning of a run. I don't mind restarting on a viewership. Uh, P A C H E C O. And since you're new, I won't ask you to pay the cookies. But eventually, when you request for crew, uh, we uh, kindly ask you to donate to the cookie fund. All right, we need power for this ship is what we really need to start. Call up Pacheco. Okay. M station. All right, free scrap. All right, next I want to do an engine upgrade and then save for something. Hacking, probably. Do the crew. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, first actual fight. And this is safe so I can train. So what do I want to train here? I can train... Uh, actually, ion, ion firing will be faster. We can train everything here, right? Yeah, with two shields, this is actually safe to train everything. So let's let's do that. I'd be very careful as I move my crew around, though. Zoltan's around as the power gets all screwed up. Let's jump one train with our two-shield ship. Uh, I like it. There you go. Pie Boy donated for the crew rename. Thanks, Pie Boy. Pie Boy so generous. We have a lot of generous people around here. And if you're new and you don't know how you get cookies, you basically get free cookies for just hanging out. It's the channel points. It's the point system that Twitch created. And we just call them cookies on this channel. The shield image itself is pretty interesting. I'm guessing that's using the circle from the shield thing and just thickened a little bit. Alright, so piloting's done. Let's move you on shields? Or do I want this guy to finish engines? Uh, I should probably let him finish engines first. Oh wait, piling's not done. Weapons is done. So I can move weapons guy up to shields. I just moved crew when I said I need to be careful about moving crew. Okay. 
Okay. You want to be the NG? Sure thing. Uh, P. Floyd, I'll get to you after this fight, if I remember. Hopefully I'll remember. Alright, well, our shields guy's gonna be trained before our engines and piloting, it looks like. Okay, not quite, but almost. So you go there, you, you'll be, you'll train shields next. While you're getting weapons. Uh, you got cookies for watching the stream, bonus for watching multiple streams in a row, bonus for interacting with the bonus chest button, and there are other ways, but they involve giving bits and giving subs, they aren't free. Oh, I didn't know you got bonus points for uh, the streaks, so that's why people are talking about the streaks all the time. You get bonus cookies for that. I had no idea. No idea about that. That's funny. It shows what I know. Okay, so now the weapons are done with you. You can go get engines now, yes. Yes, and you use them for the most important thing of gambling. True, true. The most important thing of gambling. Okay, how, how long? Do, do I let the other guy get engines? Yeah, I think I let this guy get engines. So, I'm getting shields and engines about the same time will probably be about right. That's why you're here. For the gambling? Or... <laughs> Shields are done for you. Move you to weapons. Alright. Um, oh, okay. I guess I can... Finish you while I'm waiting for the engines to finish. There it is. Alright, I'll get level one weapons on you and then we'll call this good. Plenty O cross training. That's why you're here, because you know things. Although, I mean. Oh, man. Definitely not here as much as it used to be, because, you know, actual have job, fiance, fiance, right? Is it fiance or girlfriend? I forget if it's fiance, girlfriend, or how far along you've moved. Uh, actually having real life girlfriend. Okay. Oh, perfect. I was hoping I'd get a crew so I could move my NG off of piloting. Move this guy off of weapons and you on shields. This is perfect. She would marry you tomorrow if you could afford to. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess getting married is expensive, isn't it? <laughs> well, I feel you on the not being able to afford things. I've been feeling that very much, especially since I just paid rent a week ago. Ooh, I feel you on that. Oh, we got a free heavy laser, too, at some point, which is pretty awesome. Good start to this run. Uh, I do want to get an engine upgrade, actually. I wonder what the cloaking image looks like on this ship. But yeah, so I checked my message off stream, so after this stream, I'm gonna be calling the guy at the... I think it's called Recording Connections or something, the schooling I'm looking to do for, uh... audio engineering music production stuff, potentially, so... I'm excited to talk with somebody and see if this will actually be something I'm looking, I can pursue and afford and how that all, the, all that works. One, two, three, four. I do want a store right now, don't I? I probably will sell the shield charge booster even though it's what this ship's designed around. I probably will sell it. Rename. Yes. Yes, after this jump. This jump, I totally will do it. <laughs> Sorry. 
I, I swear, people ask at the beginning of a jump, and then I train for 10 minutes, and I completely forget. So, what I'm trying to say is hashtag blame chat, is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, right, I'll get you in a second. I'll get you in just a second. Sorry about that. Hashtag blame show, you know it. Right, I'm renaming the NG, is what you said? Yes. No double words, sadly. NG to P Floyd. I cannot spell. There it is. Okay. Uh, how many jumps do we have? Five. Hmm. After interacting with you, I'll be a legend at teaching. <laughs> I should go into teaching. I actually have done some some teaching. Um, one of the things I did before I got into streaming was oh, get dodged by all my shots. Um, adjunct voice faculty at community colleges. I taught at two different community colleges, actually. One in Texarkana and one in Waco, Texas. So, I have done some teaching in the past. I just didn't do a lot of it because it's not... It's not my calling. I feel like I was decent at it, but... You know... You gotta have a certain mindset to be fulfilled by teaching, and I did not have the mindset to be super fulfilled. It was just another job to me. You want to be the tie stand. You got it. The tie stand is right in this room right there. And that's you, Pie Boy. Look at that beautiful, invisible tie stand. I should have tried teaching in Randish. That would be my calling. No thanks. I'm hoping my calling will actually be the thing that I'm looking to do. Uh, music production or audio engineering because I feel like it's something I could really enjoy and get into. Not playing FTL? Well, I've done it the last six, seven, eight years and I, as, as enjoyable as it may be to watch to some people, uh, it stresses me out. It stresses me out when I'm, you know, trying to do a streak and I'm just cursing and yelling for four to six hours a couple days a week. It stresses me out, man. Add to that to the fact that I'm not making that much money doing it. It's probably about time to look to expand my horizons. All right, I'm hoping to find a store with hacking. That's what I'm saving up for here. Free NG would be amazing. Damn. Did I consider doing a no-pause hard mode as intended? Yes, and I did one or two runs, and I got even saltier than normal. So I stopped it. I think I did one or two trying to do no-pause as intended. Like one or two streams, and I was like... It didn't feel worth it because if I'm playing no pause and I'm not going for a streak, it felt like, not that I was wasting my time, but that I didn't have a goal I was going towards. The goal would be, oh, it'd be a fun run for people to watch, but it wasn't fun. <laughs> it was ridiculously challenging to try to play a ship as intended while also playing no pause on hard difficulty. It wasn't fun. I just wasn't having, I didn't have a good time the one or two streams I tried it. As intended implies, uh, well, I have a whole playlist. You can check it out. It was not playing hard mode, no pause. It was playing hard mode with pause, I think. As intended is basically, I play a ship as I think the devs intended that ship to be played. So Fed C has two Zoltans, Clone Bay, and a teleporter. So I try to do Zoltan exploding teleportation strats 
Uh, NGB has only one crew, so I only used one crew for the entire run. That kind of thing. Guessing what I thought the devs intended for that ship and then trying to play that way. You understand it's frustrating? Yeah. And that's the thing, like... I started streaming because it was something fun to do to kill time. Slowly made a career out of it. Not a very lucrative career, but a career. And the problem is now that I've gotten to the point where I make a little bit of money. Um, and the thing that people consistently watch me do is play FTL. It feels like I feel forced to play FTL. And try to get as many viewers as possible and it's becoming less fun and more of a you know actual real job and that's not really why I started streaming I didn't start streaming to make it be a real job I did it for fun and it's it's becoming a job that I just get underpaid to do you know so that's why I'm looking at doing other things and making a career change. Thank you, NB Ventus, for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, not changing weapons. I don't know. Somebody can probably find the YouTube playlist. There's literally a playlist of my original, uh, as intended. You can check it out there and see what it's all about. Okay, I guess I go look up here for stores. You just got an event for minus one missile, plus five fuel. Next jump was minus five, one fuel, plus five missiles. Good deal. Gotta love it when it works out that way. At least you should have some fun while streaming. Well, I do. I. The thing about it is, is I actually still enjoy streaming. What I don't enjoy is playing the game that I feel forced to play. The Harbo No Pause FTL is the thing that's become the work. I still usually enjoy streaming when I'm playing basically anything about this game. But if I play anything about this game, my viewership is like about a fifth of what it is when I play FTO. So, that's like, uh, this is a free weapon, I think. Okay. That's the, that's the conundrum. How to enjoy something while doing, while doing it in a way that is successful or sustainable. Uh, the numbers don't lie. Changing niches is possible, but then almost always have to build the audience again, bar the core supporters. You'll always be here. I know, Nietzsche. I appreciate it. Uh, okay. Uh, there it is. Pieboy found some of the playlists. Thanks, Pieboy. Check the store. See if there's a system. If not, i probably get a weapon up upgrade going. That's a flak. Bone Bay cloaking. Okay. I always do that and buy a flak. Can I sell shield charge booster and ion center to get cloaking? Not quite. This could sell this and get cloaking. So I'm gonna do that. We have a nice weapon to upgrade into. We got cloaking with our Zoltan shield. Very strong, very strong. I don't think I'm playing this as intended, which would be, you know, upgrading my shields instantly. But I'm playing this in a way that's super strong, so. I have to drop. Don't get me killed. Good luck. Uh, make no promises. But again, thanks for joining the stream. Have a great rest of your day, Pacheco. You're also not going anywhere? You just hope I won't go anywhere? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping... What I really hope happens... Is I go to school... Or to this... Go through this program of learning about audio engineering and music production and I can get gigs for recording that are kind of like my singing gigs where they're kind of just all over the place in time wise. So I'll stream when I don't do those gigs but I'll make a lot more money and then I can go back to streaming for fun and then I can just play whatever I want. Because I, I just don't want to feel pressured to have to play FTL all the time to, you know, get enough viewers to make enough non money to be able to pay rent. That's what, I, that's what I'm hoping will happen. That'll just be back to streaming whatever game I'm wanting to play at the moment for fun. That I'll probably still get super salty because that's what I'll always do in video games, I'm sure. That's what I hope happens. That'll just be a little less streaming, but more enjoyable streaming when I do it. 
Who made this ship? You want to petition the mods to ban him? <laughs> uh, this ship was made by Gilboard. Why do you want to ban him? It's a shield ship. Good deal. Into your Zoltan home worlds, huh? Uh, I do not want to get by Zoltan, boarded by Zoltan border police. We'll get wrecked. IRL streams to Walmart. There you go. There you go. That's the plan. <laughs> I used to work at Walmart. Worst job I ever had. Worst job I ever had was Walmart. Don't recommend. Uh, my working at Walmart is the reason I no longer go to Walmart for my groceries. Because I can't stand to see the miserable people working there. Because I, I feel their pain of having worked there myself. Even though it's cheaper and... Uh, they always have everything. Just can't bring myself to go to Walmart. Feel too bad for the people working there. Just can't do it anymore. Let's go heal. Go heal. Uh, do live commentary on the creatures shopping at Walmart creatures. That's just mean. That's just mean. Although I know what you mean. Should have changed the design from 1S to SS. You know, shield ship. Also, it'll be a double SS tier ship, too. They sell salt and sadness at Walmart. The bad kind of salt. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and get the weapon upgrade. Now we just need to get some power and then save up for a store for flank control hacking. They're just pirates. A lot of boarding ships in this uh, NG sector so far. You gotta go to uh, Call the Shot and have fun. Hope to join more streams in the future. I hope you're able to. Glad to have you. Terrible deal. Alright. There is a lot of distress in this NG sector. Why all so distressed all the time, though? Can't do giant alien spiders. We can't do a bunch of NG blue options. Free weapon? Nah. Free five hole damage. Free five hole damage. Is that the only hole damage we've taken so far? No, we've taken at least one other damage, it looks like. No, can't do giant alien spiders. No clone bay. Can't risk all my crew like that. Even though we have a human, we could throw to the spiders. Nice free stuff. The shield image is pretty cool. Nice free mantis. Uh, this kind of blue, green, purple thing going on here. Okay. This defense drone, jeez. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to use Ion Stunner to distract, so I can get my heavy laser through. Beautiful. That's what I need right there. Very nice. Damn. It's hard to get through this. Two shields and this is effectively three shields in sector three, by the way. So hard to get through this in sector three, sector two, whatever this is. And if he has any amount of dodges, we're like effed to get through here. Don't. There we go. There we go. 
good. We almost did damage there. Come on, man. You should have zero mana of dodges with this BS build. That's 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 what Pass Rand would say about this. Zero goddamn dodges with this amount of defense, I think is what he would say, actually. At least they didn't run. Come on, <laughs> what are these dodges? What the hell, dude? Three shields and 100% dodge, okay. So balanced. What sector? This is sector three. Frickin' hell, man. I have an insanely good offense for this sector, and wow, that took a long time to kill that guy. Be right back. Gonna take some more Dayquil. Okay. Sorry you're feeling sick, I guess. Uh, do I ever get seven? Seven, six... Five... Four, three, two, one. Means I have to go to a couple other gems for this. Or it means I, means I can't go this. How do I do this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, I'm gonna get one more gem for the store at least. It's kind of trippy. What's kind of trippy? Wow, two ships in a row with Halberd Beam. I'm gonna better cloak his uh, eye on here. With hacking. Beautiful. Oh, the ship design is trippy. True. It is true with the weird backwards S. At first, I wasn't sure what the ship was. Then I realized, oh, that's what the shield design actually looks like. Right. Don't have a way to vent the fire, so we got to do this manually. Manly put out the fire. Manly. Fully healed. Okay. Alright. Now, two stores. Uh huh. Found the NG Mall, apparently. Watch them have hacking I can't afford. Don't, actually. Okay. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so if this one has hacking and we can get 17 scrap here, I would really, really like that. Got cloaking hacking and this crazy good build. Ignore, it's a trap. Great, it's actually a trap, so I can get actual scrap, actually. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Mm, that was not enough scrap. I needed 17. I want to not sell anything to be able to buy hacking if possible. That would have been enough to buy mind control exactly, though. Hopefully we get more than 13 or 12 or whatever they offered. I think it was 12. 18! Beautiful! Come on, hacking! One scrap to, sk to spare. Beautiful! Calculated, chat. Calculated. We have cl cloaking, hacking... Decent four power weapon system, Zoltan shield, and this crazy build at the end of sector three. We are, we are cooking with gas right now. Cooking with mayonnaise, as Lethal Frag would say. The O2 ship better be specialized at O2 crew killing. Um, yeah, we haven't had the O2 ship yet, I don't think. That'll be a weird looking ship, that's for sure. O with a floating two next to it. Yeah, give me all right. Nebula or Rebel? There's a lot of red down there. I'm gonna go up. Or the purples. <laughs> okay, now I just kind of need power for days. Dodge and power to start here. The censorship should auto win because swag sensors are just the most OP. T true. 
totally the most OP. Totally. Okay. I hacked his pilot and he somehow still seemed to dodge or I mistimed my weapons. Refuel one drone part. Terrible deal. 28 scrap. Decent. Artie ship might be worst of them all. Oh god, I didn't even think about an artillery focused ship. Didn't even think about that. It's probably gonna be one. <laughs> Okay, well, our first two ships in Sector 4 have had four sh uh, three shields. Not ideal. Beautiful. Apparently, three shields and zero dodges. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with zero dodges. Purple stuff, Sunny D. Cola. Yeah, I wonder... Gilboard usually talks about um, how we design the visuals of the ship in like some Google spreadsheet thing or something, online spreadsheets you can do or something. So I'm going to guess it was that kind of thing again to design the shields on the ship. Honestly, I, I kind of like the look of this... Uh shield chip looks pretty cool to me that, that blue color and the 3d look to it looks pretty darn cool to me honestly I think it looks cool anyway when we jump away and it gets smaller and then bigger again giggity uh, looks pretty cool I'm pretty sure there's a fire in their shield room, uh, which means now he's going to try to run. Okay, he's running. Let's not let him run. Level 3 piloting. Alright, no crew kill. Just kill him. No crew kill, just ship kill. Enough for mind control. So if we have a store at a non-nebula over here, we might have our systems completed except for backup battery, which would be awesome. Beautiful. You're going to make a ship out of a letter and swoosh. This is a damn fine way to go about doing it. <laughs> a letter and a swoosh. Yeah. yeah that's, a, that's a good description of it. Letter and a, smo a, a smoosh, a swoosh. You got, have you got any piloting training? Okay, you only need three more and you'll be max on piloting. Who says artillery systems have to use the weapons designed for them? Put a chain Vulcan in an artillery and go brrrr. We have done, we have seen uh, Vulcan artilleries before. And we don't get a second store though. There should be a store somewhere around here though. I can't remember how good it was. I think it wasn't terrible. Cheap slug. Puts me at 70 scrap. Nah. I'd like to, but if that made me miss out on being able to buy uh, mind control, I would have been sad. Chase them. Nice. Uh, okay, I'm hacking your... I should have hacked something other than shields. Oh, well. Oh, 
Good. Wow, that was a triple hit while we were cloaked. Oh, cool cloaking image. Said I wonder what cloaking image looked like, and I forgot to actually check it. Got dark blue. Our blue gets bluer. <laughs> nice. Or purplish. I guess that's kind of a purple middle part and a blue outline. Cool. All right, there's our store. Come on, mind control and or backup battery. Or a weapon upgrade I would take. There's my control. Uh, what are the weapons? Not really anything I really want. Although, speaking of Vulcan. Uh, a charge laser would be better than the Ion Stunner with one more weapon upgrade. Alright, I'm gonna buy that. One fuel. 50 scrap to get the weapon upgrade. I'm still low on power though. Attack the irate pirate. Double heavy ion. Actually pretty strong against us, so I should probably move you to shield. Actually, we're safe here. Okay, this is a safe fight if I move my Zoltan to shields. I'm gonna do this, actually. I can get my piloting trained. Um... Only problem is, if I turn on speed hack and the mind control keeps happening, it'll be a bit of an issue. Do I want to cross train weapons? You're already trained in weapons. You are too. Let's, let's swap them out. Alright, so I'm doing this to train piloting here. And auto fire. Uh, auto fire at this. Gotta be very careful. I'm gonna turn speed hack on and off to not get my Zoltans killed by fighting each other. Not that. Problem is I can't like move these guys to the heal bay because then I lose my shields for a second. I'm gonna be very careful here. Very careful about this. It's fine if they mind control anybody but my Zoltans, but if they kill my mind control my Zoltans, that's the bad thing. How close are you getting, human? Three more dodges. Come on, finish human. Finish him. Finish your training. Dodge the things. Did you do it? There it is. Okay. Kill the mic control. Good. Oh, yeah, we also need doors. That's true. Doors and. Not a bad deal, actually, but I want more scrap. Doors and backup battery. Those are the two things we're hoping to get from a store. System wise, well, and a weapon upgrade. Although I did just get a small weapon upgrade. A slight weapon upgrade, probably a better way to say that. Wonder if a favorite thing to do in FTL. Oh no. Oh, I pressed enter while they were between. I now have a mantis limbo. Is there anything I can do to fix this? You're supposed to not tell people to go back to systems while they're in between empty spaces. Ugh, I hate this mechanic. I really hate this mechanic. Um, one of your favorite things to do in FTL is use a combo of mind control teleporter to kidnap the enemy crew and kill them on your ship. Okay. I'm gonna have to dismiss that guy if I get extra crew. He's now stuck in limbo forever. Ugh, I hate that effing mechanic. I kind of wish on these ships that Gilboard's designing with system that he did just like do one connecting room because it's it's kind of effing buggy to have your crew disappear because you just play normally so so stupid 
No, I, he's still selected. But he's now in limbo. I can't tell him to go anywhere. I can tell that guy to move. Tell that guy to move. I just can't tell him to move. Because if you, if you if you do return to stations while they're like in the in-between space, it like just bugs it out. It's so annoying. Is selecting Mantis telling him to go to any of the rooms able to fix it? Uh, I mean, I've tried it a couple times now. I don't see it doing anything. I don't see it doing anything. Unless I'm not doing what y'all are saying, but I'm pretty sure I'm doing what you all are saying. He's joined the great eye in the void, yeah. Is he like stuck on the last map? No, so when people design their ships with big open spaces, what happens is one door connects to some other door. So if I tell this guy to move from here to here, he goes through the void to get there. If I tell him to move there, some weird void. Now if I tell him to move here, he's gonna like go back and forth into these weird things so the doors are all funky. If you tell somebody to move, return to stations while they're in that in-between spaces, I think it bugs out. And they're just stuck there. And I don't know why that happens. I don't know how to fix it. I think it's just a hard-coded vanilla broken thing. I think. Fight. And what sucks is I'll be in the middle of a fight trying to no pause it, and I'll tell them to move them back to their stations while I've already told somebody else to move. I'm probably. God, I hope I don't do this again. Accidentally get somebody stuck in the void again. Return to stations, path encode is not compatible with the void areas for some reason. Yeah, I, I guess it's something like that that causes it. Reminds you of the bug with teleporting crew. We're telling them to go to the room they got stuck in would unblock them. Telling the mantis to go to the room from which it entered the void. Uh, would that be here? I'll try to click on every room with the mantis selected. I got I got nothing. I got nothing. No room I click on is doing anything. <laughs> hope for enemy to mind control that mantis. Oh, would that actually work? Yeah, I guess I'll hope for that. All right, let me get Act Two in power. Okay. Uh, Good job, Neo. Good dodge. Okay, big drone offline. Comes the missile, though. Pokemon will not be up in time, will it? No. Sad. Of course you blocked it with your face. Why the F wouldn't you block it with your damn face? This guy has 100% has a repair drone with how fast these goddamn repairs are going. Okay. Or they could hack your mind control and that will mind control your own crew. Okay. 
So basically, we're hoping for R and Jesus to mind control our mantis. That's what we're hoping for to fix this. Okay. R and Jesus, please take the wheel. You know, the enemy mind controlled them. Doesn't say the mantis. It means one of your other crew didn't get mind controlled, though. Okay. Okay, we're half power here. I wish I had back a battery. Uh, no deal. You go to hell, you die. You called me repugnant. And that is a death. That is a uh, punishment. Of, I can't. I can't think of words. That is a crime punishable by death. That's what I'm trying to say. Calling me negative names. I kill you for that. Manage the terror of the other crew traversing the void, knowing there's a mad mind-controlled mantis in there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I timed that wrong. Gotta get a slug sometime and see where that mantis got stuck in. Hmm. Okay. Get blasted, auto assault ship. Get blasted. Destruction boys. For free, okay. Interesting sub. How does the crew move around? They go through the void and then they get stuck if I press enter. So don't tell your crew to move back to stations when they're in the void. Because they get stuck like this mantis who's stuck in the void. All right. You said sub and you meant ship. Okay. Well, my answer is still the same. All right. Okay. Uh, I just go directly in there. Oh yeah, I wanted to do a weapon upgrade. I think I'm gonna immediately sell these distraction buoys. To get one of the two systems if they're there. Like that Star Trek episode where Barclay had the fear of teleporters thinking there was some monster in there. Yeah. Barclay. I don't know if I know that Star Trek character. Okay, we have one other guaranteed store. If I sell Ion Stunner, do I have enough to upgrade? I do. I probably can't afford backup battery sometime soon, but I can do this weapon upgrade, which is good. Worrying radiation is actually terrifying here. Um, hmm. Mantis in the void doesn't mean if all crew dies, you won't lose. Probably we'd be soft locked, yeah. We probably actually would be soft locked if that happened. Because it would think we had crew when we don't have crew. Okay, burn me out. Alright, let's go ahead and hack your weapons. We can cloak hack cycle this. Good frickin' doges for him. Beautiful. B A U T full. So let's hope we don't lose all our crew. That would be bad. I mean, it'd be bad anyway, but. There we go. Breach in the shield. Perfect. Beautiful. I wonder if we have a crew kill this. That door closes. Mm. 
Yeah, they're gonna put the fire out. Get wrecked. Perhaps if you had teleporter, you could bring him back. Uh, I I don't think so. No. A lot of the people who are asking how to fix this and giving suggestions probably have not played a lot of modded FTL. This is less about systems or anything else and more about the weird way that doors, rooms are connected and some way the way that's coding for returned positions, manning for positions or whatever. So it's I don't think any system would let me fix it. What's up, Loana? You're really late at the show. That's okay. Glad to have you. Uh, this is three uh, O2 hacks, so I can't I can't do kill here. But I do want to avoid. It's taking a long time, so I might need to hack. I need to finish this fight quickly, to be honest. I don't run out of O2. Give me my O2 back. O2 back on, please. Thank you. Also, Manta somehow counts as being in piloting by being in the void under piloting. I don't know what that even means. don't know what that means. The Mantis is technically still on your ship anyway, so teleport wouldn't have helped even if you could target him. Yeah. Okay, what's my next upgrade? Um, Cloak 2 for... Full cloak hack cycle. I think actually this for manly uh, wearing radiation, so I don't just die to that event, is probably the best thing. Because my anti boarding is probably my weakest on this ship with no doors. Uh, well, actually, I do have doors now. Doge? Now you need to be a good doge. You need to stop being a bad doge. Really? Charging? Okay, I was gonna say, surely this will pull the pilot. go six fuel decent deal if that was six fuel and drone parts i would have taken it two fuel and a drone part better it will pull the pilot and don't call them surely too late already did it already did it all right store 62 scrap what do i want from a store I mean, a flax with a charge laser, long range scanners. There's things I'd get or take. Hope someday that somebody gives that poor mantis some cookies and not die from starvation. Well, nobody's going back into the void, so uh, it's probably not happening. I mean, do you want to go into the void? I don't want to go in the void. Who wants to go in the void? All right, all my systems are done. That's good. He is Gordon Freeman in Stasis. Is that the guy from Half-Life? Let's not go into the void. It is a silly place. <laughs> yes, on second thought, let's not go to the void. It is a silly place. One night at the void table, we dance whenever able. Okay. To explain what you mean, from personal experience, sometimes if a crew member is traveling through the void and the void they travel through is in the same location as a room where their presence in the room matters without caring about a specific square, like Med Bay, I'll count them as in the room while being in the void. Okay. Still not sure if I understand, but... Have you played a lot of ships where there's a void for your crew to get stuck in? You must have if you're going to make a long sentence about how the void works.
Is this a common occurrence for you, getting stuck in the void? Kind of crazy. Okay, I gotta wait for his cloaking. Hope we got a fire in the weapons. Triple hit. Okay. Good. Beautiful. All right, now we're good. I mean, I play viewer ships every week, and I'm not even that familiar with all the interactions with crew getting stuck in the void. Sometimes getting stuck in the void is preferable to getting stuck in traffic. True, true. Especially if you live in Dallas, or probably New York or LA. Probably a lot of places would rather be in the void than traffic. Or getting stuck in a bad relationship. Oh, yikes. Uh, here's... Okay, this is not wearing radiation. This is just free borders. In my hacking. Kill your friends. I swear I pressed mind control on that. Oh. The Zoltan's running in and out, messing up my power here. I was wondering why that wouldn't work. And now if I move him out of there... Does my control turn off? My god, I hate that mechanic. I effing hate Zol Zoltan automatically removing power mechanic. I effing hate that effing shitty mechanic. <sighs> so dumb. I had free power. It should have just left the fucking power in there. It's a dumb mechanic. They ended up over here now somehow. Ah, oh, that's such a dumb bullshit mechanic. Crap, are they gonna be stuck in the void? No, they just went right through the void, apparently. Okay. Okay, you go do that, you fix that, you go heal. It's a big city, it's got traffic, yeah. You played a lot of ships with questionable designs, mostly made by yourself, but still. <laughs> okay. Well, it sounds like you maybe do have more experience with, than I do in dealing with crew getting stuck in the void, so okay. They would only apply if the unpurchased room is place where void is, though. Put Zoltan into a void so power is always on. Yeah, I don't know if that works. All right, quest. What we got? Call that a caught in a bad romance. Good song. Do 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 do. do. Please missile down before he fires. All right, now we let him escape when we go get this to get guaranteed high scrap. Um, the void claims not the ones we hope, but the ones that are chosen. How philosophical and Cthulhu-like. I think the game believes your mantis is already in whatever room they were sent to, since technically FTL doesn't really recognize the empty space between rooms as anything. The game is purporting its alternative truth. Is this those phase door ships? I don't know, Nin Kirin. Uh, it is a ship with a void, and my crew, one of my crew is stuck in said void, so... Bad times in the void. Bad times at Void Ridge Montai. Void Montai. I don't know. Okay, half power. All right, let's hack piloting shoot weapons here. Okay, weapons down. 
Double beam drones, thanks for being stupid. Okay, no more dodges. He is banished into the Shadow Realm. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much he's in the Shadow Realm. Never again to see the light of day or the darkness of the universe. Caught in a bad romance. Wah, 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 wah. Shattered across time and space, he banished himself. Just checked your mods folder. You have 80 custom ships and 80% were made by you. Nice. Um, I don't want to dive in a slug nebula, do I? I have all my systems, but my weapons aren't great. So looking for... Do I have uh, long-range scanners? I don't think I do, do I? No. It'd be just completely random to find uh, under construction flagship. And while I'm looking for under construction flagship, we're probably getting attacked by... Uh, rebel disruptors, rebel riggers, auto assault ships. Either that or, you know, wearing radiation ships. Let's just go here. Let's go slug. They'll say that the shield ship needs a shield drone. Ah, oh, I see. I see. I can understand the logic. I don't like it, but I understand the logic. That's a lot of weapons, sir. That is a lot of weapons. Now I have Bad Romance stuck in my brain. Which, it's a good song, but... I have a, uh... On my playlist, my stream playlist, I have a cover of, bad, of Lady Gaga's Bad Romance played on the Urhu, which is... I believe a Chinese violin is what that uh, the Urhu is. And I really like that instrument. And I was just looking up songs on the Urhu. I don't even know how to pronounce that. But I just really like the sound of that instrument. And uh, I found a cover on YouTube of that. It's so cool. It's this... The... Uh, Chinese violin. It's got like these kind of scooped notes too. It's really cool sounding. Um, super shield generator drone. Don't know what those are called. Defense drone to effectively have six shields. Yes. How do you move crew and heal? They they go through the void. I I feel like I've said this like a bunch of times, but they go through the void. They can go through the void. There's how you do it. And the reason my mantis is stuck is if you hit return to stations while they're moving through the void, they get stuck. So hopefully that answers that. Only song that gets stuck in your head is that Indian guy singing Unstoppable by Sia. I'm not familiar with that one. Ooh, there's some good weapons. Which direction do I want to go? I know I'm selling this. Probably just Halberd Beam, right? I want both. Can't afford both. Let's get the one that's cheaper and better. And 75, you got that one online. Yes, that's how I lost my mantis. I told them to return to stations while the mantis was in the void, and I immediately knew it was a mistake. Oh, this thing, okay. Four shields. Okay. This could be a rough fight. I really hope I don't lose all my crew to dying to, oh, no, O2. Oh, I did not. Okay, I cloaked that decently well. Okay, this could be bad. I could run out of O2 before this fight ends. Okay. Thank God that firebomb is blocked. Okay, this, this should be fine. We should be fine here. There we go. Okay. Give me my O2 back. Should have gotten level 202 earlier. 
but there's another store, so I'm gonna do that first. Uh, Non-Euclidean geometry is tough on our puny little meat brains. Mantis isn't lost technically. He is just taking a shiznizzle somewhere between the walls. It's gross. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, I don't really want to spend scrap on crew. Let me get an O2. Uh, let me get one more power, and then my next upgrade is a, probably a weapon upgrade. Uh, who designed the ship? Gilboard. Unstoppable. Sandaru Satsara is a treat. Is it good or is it one of those things where people think it's funny to make fun of somebody doing something really... Out what they would consider poorly, maybe. Um, okay, let's... let's... Stupid event. Event, man. I'm gonna have to move these guys over here. This is actually terrifying right now. You all might not realize how terrifying this event is right now with my void that I have to deal with here. If somebody else gets lost in the void, this is just a disaster. Yeah, fucking 60% should be zero fucking percent. Sure should be. God. It's my cloaking. Yeah, looks like we're winning that, I think. Please don't effing die. Please don't effing die. Fuck this fucking shitty ass fucking game. <sighs> Stupid bullshit fucking event. <sighs> of course we're fucking breached in here. Why the fuck wouldn't we be breached in here? your salt, chat. You all seem to love so much. There's your salt. Ah, this ship sucks. This ship sucks. Broken doors are fucking annoying as hell to deal with, so. Gilbert, if you watch this later, please on your future ships of this design, please make working doors. I don't have to deal with broken ass void crew loss because of broken doors and void bullshit. Please fix your doors. Just connect the rooms. Just connect them. For the love of God. We gotta deal with shit like this where I have to be ridiculously careful with where I move my crew, how I move that crew, or they're just gonna break and get stuck. Not salt was only allowed on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, I'm trying to quit FTL, so I'm gonna get more salt out of every, every stream so I can just quit earlier. So frustrating. <laughs> it's only salty when people design ships that are either really weak with this ship, which this ship isn't, or have bugs, which this ship does. I call I call your crew being able to be lost in the void a bug. I call that buggy ship design, so. And it makes me salty. So there you go, Ooh. chat. There's my salt. <laughs> Trying to quit FTL is like quitting smoking. It makes you even more aggressive. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much what's happening here.
Uh, he could have had a proper room, just make it transparent. Uh, is that a thing? You can make transparent rooms? I've never seen transparent rooms in FTL, so I don't know if he could have done that. I need you on engines. Training on engines more than just shield training. Uh, okay, uh, go to the store, see if there's anything to do. I'm, I'm buying crew if there's crew for sale here. Okay, give me an NG. Uh, yeah, I'm buying a damn human right now. That's how desperate I am for crew. One loss in the void. The other one lost because I can't move my crew or else they'll get lost in the void while dealing with damn borders. These broken doors. You see this weird thing where it keeps moving back and forth in diagonals? That means that the doors are broken. That means that... The door connections are all off. Sector we in? Six. How many jets do we have? Six. Ship of the texture, are you sure it could be made transparent? Uh, have you ever designed a ship, Overlord? Because... You you can make the ship transparent. You can't make the the floor image transparent. I don't think what you're suggesting is possible. I'm pretty sure the way the game is hard coded, rooms cannot be made transparent. I'm pretty sure that's not possible. Because what I think what I think you might be suggesting is like. This image here, you could definitely make parts of that transparent. You can't make rooms transparent, as far as I know. For sure that's not possible. I don't think I've ever seen invisible rooms in all the hundreds of modded ships I've played. You want to make a ship designed around this principle. It was four small ships connected by the void, but you never got it in the way you liked. You learned that traveling through the void through multiple doors was sketchy. Well, yeah, that's exactly the issue we're having here. Uh, if I want him to go into center using my mind control, he's just got to run all around the entire ship. Jeez. The ship looks more authentic to the S Shield logo, but it breaks the game and enjoyment. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'm just salty because I've lost two crew to the broken doors. You could argue I could have not lost that Zoltan if I'd moved him earlier, but then I didn't have cloaking for a missile. And then if I tried to move him and try to move the other guys and then hit enter, then somebody else gets lost in the void, like. It just it'd be nicer if I didn't have to deal with a broken disconnected door thing and just like add one connector room one four room like right there so that there's con there's connection so that it doesn't cause these broken moving through the void things you don't know of any way to make up transparent rooms NV you think it's perfectly justifiable to have rooms over empty space you're fairly certain a few vanilla ships do that yeah yeah, pretty sure they do too. Oh, Rand Grilling Corner. Roasting is for noobs. Okay. Well, I'm not trying to call Gilboard a noob for doing this. I just, and we probably made the conscious choice to have these separated so it looks better for the shield design. I just, I would prefer a design that's not going to bug out to one that looks visually exactly how you want it. I mean, you could probably even do something like, 
copy and paste this little blue square to make it a little bit bigger, to change the shape of the S a little bit if you really want it to bridge over if you have doors there, uh, rooms there. I just... One of my least favorite things on viewership days is dealing with ships that are broken in some way. And I don't call that bo broken, but I do call it buggy. Bugginess is not fun to to mess with, to deal with. All right, give me free stuff. Put an S logo. Why not make a proper ship and make the S logo's creative background and make it look like an actual ship? Well, it'll be more work. I think that's the real answer. Gilboard designs these ships, but if you've never designed a ship, you might not realize that it takes a lot of work and time and effort. And I think Gilboard wants to make ships, but also doesn't want to spend hours on them. So it's probably why it's as simple as it is. Because it's a lot of time and effort to make these things. And I don't want Gilboard to stop making them, and I'm not trying to roast Gilboard, but I am... I would prefer a little more time and a little less bugginess. That's my preference. You did design a submarine in Barrow Trauma. It took you seven days. Well, thankfully, this wouldn't have taken seven days. Um, I don't think, anyway. Oh, it worked! Oh, they, it worked! Okay, uh, I need to be very careful. He might control our mantis and we have him back. Oh, the void. He's free from the void. Like, where did this mantis come from? <laughs> I completely forgot I had him. Oh, praise our and Jesus. Our and Jesus is taking pity on us. And this buggy door void ship. All right, I have to be very careful. Very careful to not get him stuck again. All right, you guys go heal. Oh, praise our and Jesus. Please rename the poor mantis to the forgotten. Okay. The forgotten. Okay, I'm gonna move the remove the the because I just wanted to be forgotten. Okay. All right. Uh, you had weapon training, so let's put you back on weapons. NG had only weapon training. This guy does have engine training. Uh, actually, no. NG be on weapons. Mantis be on sensors. NG be on doors. And that NG will be. I'm gonna wait till they move before I do anything. We don't bug them out again and I get all salty and ragey again. And we'll make this NG silly device. Ah, uh, okay. That relieves some of the salt of losing the Zoltan after the Mantis had been locked away for four sectors or whatever it was. By your guess, it meant... Uh, by your guess, it meant to be the shields icon for the shield system. Yes, that's exactly what it is because every ship before this from Gilbert has been like that, by boy. Uh, AI is a god able to target a crew member that is in the middle of nowhere, yes. The AI can do what I can't do, apparently. Mind you, you have a simple truth. You first yoink something away, then suddenly give it back to make somebody unreasonably happy about having it. No idea what that means. Okay. Um... buy any crew here. I kind of just want to get upgrades. I think our ship's done if I can just get it fully upgraded, so. This. There's no long-range scanners at this store, is there? No. What about Clone Bay? I'd like to buy it, but I don't want to spend the scrap on it. Dealing with... God, I'm actually terrified of Phase 3 and dealing with borders. Maybe I do spend the 50 scrap on Clone Bay. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Phase 3 is going to be a nightmare to deal with, with crew getting lost in the void and getting boarded and me not having good weapons to crew kill Phase 1. Uh, you want something, give it back, make them happy about having it. Oh, you're talking about doing that to a child is what you're talking about, okay. Now I think I don't understand what you're saying. Ooh. 
Lost to the void, then got it back, and you got so happy you could not comment. You couldn't not comment on it. Okay. Twenty-six scrap from sector seven. Go at yourself, FTL. Forgotten is not accurate now since it has been remembered. Okay. You, know, you can argue and chat about that name. I'm not changing it. <laughs> I'm not changing it. Ah, oh, freaking free borders. Okay. Where are they? They're in my mind control and my clone bay. Where is that? Over here and over here. And that is not vented because of the weird broken doors. Why is this room being vented right now? God damn it. This is what I'm talking about with broken doors. There's a vent connected to this door somewhere that's not this door. Ah, that's so annoying. Alright, uh, I gotta just not get you vented. Just, just make real rooms with real connected doors, please. Modders, please. Please, then you get stupid things like door being vented by this room over here for some reason. Yeah, the doors are buggy. I've, I've seen a lot of ships like this and it's just uh, such pain. Uh, to be fair, when you picked that name, you didn't believe it will come back. And it came back because you hit enter on the name change request. You think that if you vent clone bay and open a southern door, it'll vent doors. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to test it. Uh, store up there. Do I want a store? Do I have anything to sell? Not really. I would like some ship fights, please. I need some scrap to finish this, finish this run. Good. No weapons. Feels damaged. Is that a good deal? Not really. I was lower on scrap, maybe. Uh, lower on fuel. But we should have enough to get to the end of the sector. And this is sector 7, so we should be good. Not really moving power around. It's fine. I think uh, pretty odd how that works. Yeah, well, again, when you have these separations and you, like, add doors and connections and superluminal makes all these weird interactions happen, and it's just not fun to be the one playing the ship that has to deal with... I don't know if it's laziness or confusion about your ship design, but just wish the doors made sense. Uh, if you now have a clone bay, can you bring somebody from the void by venting the ship? I think when they're in the, when they're in the void, they don't get vented in the void. But I, I, I don't know, and I'm not going to test it. So, the answer is I don't know. You're welcome to download this ship. It's on thebox.com. Test it for yourself if you want to see all the interactions with the void. How did I dodge literally nothing, FPL? Literally nothing was dodged. Fine, we're about to get a full repair, it's whatever. All these ships are available for you to play yourself, and you can test them and figure out all the in in idiosyncrasies of weird void crew. Maybe Abby knows from earlier. You made a Google search, FTL, how to make a ship, and first video is the same man that is here on the stream. <laughs> well, the YouTube video... I assume the one that's with me and um, not Rad82. Um, who's the guy who helped us make ships and make that YouTube video? Uh, my brain. Been a while since he's made a ship, but he's made lots of ships and showed us how. Biohazard. It's probably the, the, the video where Biohazard showed me how to do it, and he's got a playlist for that. And I recommend it if you actually do want to create ships. 
Check out Biohazard's playlist. You are still alive, and you're lucky with how the Void has been killing my crew. The Void is the real final boss. True, true. Okay. Two power. Dodge power. Alright, we're basically boss ready now. Buggiest stuff you embrace in ship design is having too many weapon drone slots or having multiple artillery systems. Yeah. Well, hyperspace makes some of that stuff not as buggy. Or not buggy at all if you do it right. Because they've like done UI changes and stuff to make it so you can have more drones and weapon slots without it bugging out. Okay. <laughs> okay, we unlocked the ship. Strangely. Alright. Uh, okay. I don't think we get any repairs because I don't want to backtrack and he's probably going to... Oh, wait. He might not actually take over that repair. We might get that one. That would be nice. Okay. Double ion... Triple ion missile and drones. Holy crap. I really wish I had my second Zoltan that died now. That's terrifying. Okay, still double ion and drone, but that's the least useful ions, at least. God, I might have to run from this. Oh, that's a good double dodge. That puts me back in this. Okay, good. Okay, we should be damageless now. Got level 3 piloting to go with his ridiculous build. Get wrecked. Just enough doges. Praise RN Jesus. Nope. He took over the one repair station I could have gotten. F you too, FTL. F you too. Do I even care about a store right now? I mean, if I if I, there was a fire beam so I could crew kill phase one, I'd probably buy it and swap that for halberd beam phase one. Beach bomb. Oh, I love that for crew killing. I guess it could potentially. Meh. Meh. I'm gonna try to hack shields, shoot shields, my control shields to go for crew kill. I think. As someone experienced with making ships, the most important thing is to play test them to find any unintended interactions or balancing issues. Also, it's better to stray on the side of too strong rather than too weak. I agree with both of those sentences. And that is what I try to tell people who send me ships for the first time. Test it and err on the side of too strong. That is, I 100% agree with those sentences. Those sentences. I'm going to fight the boss early, because if we need to run, we can get a repair right after. Alright, so I'm going to attempt to crew kill phase one by hacking shields. Getting the missile damaged, and then mind controlling in the shields while hopefully kill, crew killing some in the shield. That's the goal. There's going to be a delayed hack, because we have Zelda's shield. Cloak that. Nice fire in there. Weapon hack. Fucking delayed. Okay, well. And there's the downside to the Zoltan shield. Okay, F U F T L. Jump away to repair. Worst effing hack. Now we have to dive before the fight.
As we go, there it is. All right, easy dive. Give our systems time to refresh. I hope we don't get two effing weapon hacks in a row, like somebody asked if it was possible, which it is 100% possible for that to happen. And it might just happen here. We get really effing unlucky, and I will be ragey at that. Sucks also because I got a fire from my first tabulator shot, which is always what I want, is a fire from my first tabulator shot. Wow, big surprise. He dodged just enough for me to do zero fucking damage. Fire is a breach that time. I'll leave you in there. O2 hack, we can deal with that. We 100% take that. I just need to put the power into it once. Hack wears off, there we go. Fire, come on, fire. Damn it, dodge. Oh, come on, game. Come on. Freaking hell, are you kidding me with these effing dodges? He's dodged all these. Come on. No cloak, no cloak. Come the fuck off. <laughs> three fucking heavy lasers dodged in a row. Fucking three, chat. Wish I had half the goddamn dodges of this fucking guy. No! What? Um, come on. There. Alright, one of those guys should die, then we finish him. Alright, take one missile here. Apparently a random beam that hits me too. Could you give oh, me a goddamn fuck? break? Man, what the actual fuck? Alright. Good enough. Good enough. Took three damage. Did a decent amount of crew killing there. Uh, God, I'm having these guys run through room, uh, the void here. We got a new quote. Okay, great. That cloak is working overtime. This was a juicier come the F on than the previously recorded one. Okay, great. Glad to know you're keeping track, I guess. All right, uh, he doesn't have that many crew to board me now, phase three, thankfully. 26 scrap gets me... Kind of nothing, so I'll just get sensor value point. Maybe I could have gotten one more power after phase two. Oh, well. All right, got to deal with boarding drone. Um... Uh... This guy and this guy, I guess they're dealing with it. Although it will be delayed because of Zoltan Shield, so. I knew that was gonna happen. Angle effed. Effed by the angle there. Fix my shit, and I can't fix my shit. This room will never be unvented, apparently. Never, ever again will it ever be ever unvented. Maybe if I do this, the level 202, this will be unvented, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Freaking buggy ass ship. <laughs> Freaking buggy ass ship. Ok, 
Okay, another couple crew kills is good. Cloak for a bit. You go in there so I don't lose my cloaking. All right, finish him. There it is. Okay, there it is. I can't like I can't use level two o two and have it even out. There it is. Okay, now it's evening out. I I don't know. The freaking broken doors on the ship are driving me crazy right now. Jamaican me crazy, broken doors. Jamaican me crazy. <sighs> you hope that boarding drone gets lost in the void. I should be so lucky. But no, no. Okay. Uh, so, who's my weapon train guy? Floyd. These guys go get vented. I think my over to overall O2 level is too low for it to even out. Probably, probably, but trying to figure out that while my not knowing which door which door is actually a vent and which vent is connected to which door, it's just a nightmare to try to deal with. You know, evening out O2 pressure with a boarding drone and a breach. It's just a nightmare to figure out. Okay. 23 scrap gets me nothing. All right. Let's finish this. Should board me with one once he's through my Zoltan shield here. Should be able to deal with that unless the void gets in the way again. Good dodges. What the hell? <laughs> okay, here comes his mind control finally getting through, and then the missile coming next, I think. There's the boarding, okay. Okay, decent dodges there. Okay, missiles are down, that's great. Moving back and forth through the void, and it scares me every time. Who's going to get locked in the void this time? That's what I think every time. <laughs> GG, the shield ship, or the lost in the void ship is what I should call it. The defender from Gilboard. Fun ship, except for that whole the doors are broken and my crew are dead. <laughs> except for that, it was great. Thank you for the ship, Gilboard. I would ask you for future ships if you could just connect the doors a little better, because... I don't want to have half my crew lost in the void. It was only one this time, but it could have been two if we, I don't know, if I misclicked again. So let's check that, let's check that score. 53-26. We'll make sure to never send any ship with jank doors. I appreciate it. Unless that's part of the janky thing and you figure out a way to fix it and then I'm not going to lose all my crew. Please don't. I would appreciate that. All right, my friends. Well, that's going to be everything for today. I, I got some stuff I need to do, some uh, call that I'm looking forward to making and chatting and stuff. So hope you had a good time. If there's anybody new to the stream, hope you to follow. Come join us again. If you would like to send me a ship, type exclamation point FTL ship in the chat. That'll tell you how to submit it. And I always welcome new folks sending new ships and all that. Tomorrow, we'll play some FTL Harbor, no pause. And then, of course, Friday and Saturday will be... Uh, satisfactory, but I'm gonna head out. So as usual, thank you for the bits, the follows, the subs, give the subs, lurking, hanging out, all the awesome, amazing stuff, y'all the sports.